Hello, Gemini. All you YouTubers out there, cross watchers. Welcome to Anya's True of the Law of Time. My name is Anya. Welcome, welcome. If you resonate with this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I would deeply, deeply appreciate it. If you don't, you may want to check your moon, rising, and Venus. These are general readings, so it may not re resonate with everyone, okay? Let's see what we got for my Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wow. Something came around. This is what's coming at you. This is what is your immediate future. And this is what you don't see coming. You get one card, two cards. It won't, give me, it won't let me separate them. I guess they're gonna go together. Seven of presents and the six of candles. The money matter. Six of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. That's what you don't see coming. Immediately what I'm feeling from this is divorce, but we'll go into it by the end of it, some kind of spiritual conquest. Okay. In the tower. We need to shake something up here. Two of Needles. Some, somebody's confused about something here. About this ending. You know it has to happen. When the, uh, I feel like with the seven of pentacles there, they're just observing right now. They know they got this. That's what they don't see coming, is that they know they got this handled. Oh, wait a minute, that's the nine of candles. My bad, I'm dyslexic today. Uh, so yeah, there's there's something you're gonna be guarded against, whatever you've worked for, or whatever you've planted. I don't read really reversals. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, oh my goodness. This has everything to do with your hopes and your dreams. Wow. Okay, so this is a pretty intense thing coming at you. But it's, it's something that's either coming to a close or coming back around. And right now I feel like that's coming back around. I don't feel like it's coming to a close just yet. Okay. Let's see what the immediate future holds. Empress and work. So this could even be a job and a boss. Okay. Yeah, it's I I I'm really feeling like this has something to do with some kind of a contract. And I'm not necessarily seeing it as marriage, but it could be. It could be. It's somebody's hopes and dreams you don't see coming is there's a secret lover. Oh my goodness. Ah, another one with too many chefs in the kitchen. Oh goodness. At least he was coming. What spirit's advice on this? Be able to, to boss up. Eliminate yourself. Because you're getting yourself stuck. And the bottom, it's screaming use your intuition. Screaming it. I mean, if this is really what you hope for and what you want, everything that you want, it's coming back around. But what you don't see about it is that there may be another love in, in the picture. And 
that's why you're in the seven, seven of presence. It's like you planted these seeds with this person, but you are on guard because you're not sure if they have another lover or not. And that could be, you know, either a secret or it could be just not being sure, not seeing all the facts. Okay? And I'm, I'm starting to feel that way a little bit about this. It's time to boss up because they've got a perfect couple here. A divine couple, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, Taurus, Aries energy. And this is everything that you could ever want. But you may have to let go of, of something that, that you value. Something that, yeah, I got healing, Leo. I got strength here. We got Leo twice. So you could be dealing with the Leo. You need to heal something. That's what's coming back around. In order to move on and work towards a better beginning here. Let's see what else we get. And it may take a little while. It's not going to happen overnight. But there's your seven of pentacles again. You're going to get a, get back whatever you put out. It just may take some time for this issue or situation to resolve itself. But you're being recognized here, regardless. All right? You're not being, like, shunned, like, pushed away or anything. Yeah. Hey, do you believe that you're going to make a judgment here in this case? And maybe tell this person what you think. This is what you don't see coming, is that I'm almost seeing an irrational behavior because they're not sure. So they're going to make a judgment call that might cost them more than it needs to. There's the tower. That's what's going to happen. That's what Spirit's advice is, is that you're going to have to deal with that tower. And you're going to have to deal with it like a boss. It's going to cost you. It's going to confuse you. This is destiny's way of putting you at a crossroads. What do you value most? So whoever this is for, if they are in an illusion about a lover with their other partner, they're going to find out by the end of this month. Okay? But if they act in haste and in a selfish way, it's going to get them stuck. It's going to cost them money. It's going to confuse the hell out of them. So, don't go there. Alright? Let the tower fall if need be. This revolves around a marriage and a home. Okay, I hate I feel that so strongly about this reading. So, I feel like somebody's going to jump the gun here before they know all the facts. And it might be, because I do see, I see Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius right in front of my face. There's too many chefs in the kitchen. There's too many people involved here. It could be mother, brother, sister. I don't know. You know, I'm just reading. I read the cards. I I don't know. Uh, I don't know what your particular situation is, but I'm feeling you know strong mother energy here, and somebody who's very aloof, very disconnected. What do we got idyllic times, the Garden of Paradise. Okay, and earth magic. Alright. Wings of light becoming something new. Yeah. 
I'm gonna read you the affirmations off these cards. I think they're cool. Um, I hope you enjoy the music because I do. I practice what I preach. I've run in 28 hertz, babe. So it keeps me going. Oh, I got the wrong color. My bad. Do it times. This is new, so. These are the Akashic, one of the Akashic decks. That's what I specialize in. And I just don't know this book yet, but I'm learning. Give me just a moment. Yes. Where is this See it there it is, there it is, there is. Oh, 122. Good number. Sorry it took me so long. Okay. I'm just gonna read you the affirmations from these cards because these are your full moon affirmations, okay? This is a timeless reading though. You'll you'll see it when you're meant to see it. I open my life to experience the wonders of nature all around me. Beauty and peace fill my life in many delightful ways. Yeah, I mean the sun, the hope, the healing. It's all going on right now. Or it's its coming into your life. The healing of whatever this is. Fearlessness, removing obstacles. And this is what I was kind of feeling about this one was. I think someone thinks there's someone else, but there really isn't. And, and, and if they continue with that kind of behavior, it's going to end up costing them maybe the relationship altogether. Okay. It's like someone is, is kind of making up stories in their head about this, and, and it's, not, it's not even true. I mean, it's an illusion. Being on your guard, fearing maybe that Maybe you did that to somebody else, so maybe you're fearing that that's being done to you. Okay, that's how, almost how I'm feeling that. Okay, the affirmation on this one is, I have the power to remove any inner or outer blocks. I am fearless in my choice and honor myself and my life. Honor yourself and your life, what you have to be grateful for. Because this crossroads is asking you to become something new out of something that, you know, may not even be what it appears. Because it's you're, you're, you're either thinking it's way too much or you're thinking there's somebody else involved. And what you need is balance in this situation, which is the four of wands. That's peace, serenity, marriage, possibly. I'm connected to the earth and all of life around me. We got that with earth magic. So see, how you reflect yourself is how your world reflects back to you. Remember that. Because if you don't, if you don't stay on top of things, you don't get yourself unstuck. Trust me, I'm a Gemini moon. I know how that feels. We overthink things. Um, then it's going to cost you, okay? So try to get yourself unstuck. I will not remain stuck. I choose to change. Oh my goodness, no way. That just popped out of my hand. Look, I got a whole deck of these cards. That one's the one that popped out. These are your full moon affirmations, Gemini. Wow. Let's see what we get. Every day I focus on what is important. What is important, Gemini? I explore my wildness and dance in pleasure. So, lighten up. It's what I'm getting from a lot of this reading is that 
even though this tower's this tower's coming, there's there's no way to avoid it because there's a miscommunication here, there's a misunderstanding. But I do see somebody healing from it and being able to have the strength to carry on here. Because this is this is a test. This is a universal test to see if you'll pass. In the past, I will not remain stuck. I choose to change. So, are you going to choose to change the way you think about something? Or are you going to choose to remain in that stuck energy? I guess that's entirely up to you. You could explore your wildness and dance and pleasure. That's what I do. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> well, that's all I have for you this time, Joe and I. Thank you for the uh, views, and I will see you next time. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and share. That helps me a lot. And um, this is timeless. It's just the, but, but the full moon energy is pumping it up. All right? So I see you again. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye-bye.